Hey guys, welcome back. We are continuing our journey through Metal Gear Solid. And this is part two of a group big slice that I did to finish this game. So we just defeated Metal Gear Rex. Let's see what happens next. Hello? Hello? Don't you look sexy walking towards me slowly? What are you gonna say? What have you got to see for yourself? Ah, oh, yeah. Sleeping like as usual. A snake. Ah, uh, snake. Liquid. You're still alive. I will die. Turn this up. Turn this monitor up. You still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. That's too loud. Fighting. What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are Can I move my head? As we once were. No. As we yes, I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Whoa. Boss's fantasy. It me. was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like I'm tripping us. tripping man. I'm tripping balls. We were valued then. We were desired. But things oh, are different now. Mm -hmm. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, War isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurs our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. So you are. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then. We'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for Meh. warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors yes, Snake. betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, huh. I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. It is, it is fun, what? especially when they're taking a whiz. It? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? <laughs> yeah. That was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. <laughs> it was filled with the joy of battle. The joy of battle. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. It was good, I must admit, it was good fun. That way. Created? Les enfants terribles. Les enfants terribles. That's what the project was called. Oh god, we're just gonna be chit chat. This is the problem I had before about my timings is that like he kept he just went into a massive monologue and I was like, I've gotta to get to work. But now hopefully I've got enough time. So this might be an extra long episode. I think I got enough footage of me dying enough from Metal Gear Rex and then this cutscene will top it up. So they created us from his cells with a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Uh -huh. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and right. later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses oh, to God. encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. There were eight the of other us. six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. Well, you know. That's so a bit over the top. And I, two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. Ooh. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. Huh. You took everything from me before I was even born. How could you even get mad about that? You and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. 
They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion the of the human genome, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Oh God! Thanks to father's Heavy DNA, stuff. they were able to identify more than cool six cutscene. soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's Dan. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same <gasps> genes Shocker. as ours. It's a big old family soldiers. reunion then, isn't it? If we friggin' they all those all those soldiers are killed. Created artificially through makes it, you know, like makes me buying Christmas presents less, you know, genes. challenging. They too are the product of and birthday presents. Oh, think of the money you're saying. Good one, good nice one, Snake. Human experiments. We gotta do a thing. Oh, he's still talking. The Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Is that legit? Are they just taking something that actually happened and playing on it? Depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> And that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. I gotta look that up. First I love it. I love it when video games use that. You take something and either get inspiration from it or weapons. use it as a sidestep. Take their story the as a sidestep, you know what I mean? I wonder if that's true. They were all just a cover up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are. Yes. Not the whole Geno soldier bit, obviously that's a little rubbish. The whole kind of like in the Gulf War, soldiers after so it's all done, soldiers, soldiers are complaining about the experiments were a success. Not feeling right. Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry? Oh, he likes to chat, doesn't he? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In mm. nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. Can you imagine that, though, if your family, like, your father is, like, an arsehole. <laughs> like, mine. <coughs> but you still respect his honor because of his DNA. You're like, I shall... Meh. That, I wouldn't use that as an first, example. Kill you. The reason why I'm sticking up to you is because I want to pass on my DNA. No. There she is, look, she's alright. Meryl, you're fine. Alive, you're good. I'm you're awesome. Sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Oh. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid Meryl. woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, we have no past, no future. And even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father. Big boss. Mm. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. Oh God. Fox die. No. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. 
If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Okay, cool. Hold on a minute whilst I talk to my codex system. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What oh, is the God. Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What What's an AWACS? To bomb the place. What? Not only that. Chill. Tell me what an AWACS is. <laughs> off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Oh, God. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really I love how his mouth is getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command uh -huh. and at least buy you some time. Right. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel... Are you going to be that guy that, like, asks a question okay, at the end of a Snake. meeting when someone says, has anyone the got any more is, questions? Fox that'll that'll buy time. The subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm <laughs> sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What Oop. are you doing? Oop. Oop. Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? The Roy Campbell has Hello, been mate. relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put oh, the God. Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ooh. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. It's all going a bit. Bastard. Double crossing the double crossers. Evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this. The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. Good How do you God. plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. Huh. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you Not very give nice me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. Oh God. <laughs> Farewell. Cheers, mate. See ya. Right, that's oh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Oh, still There's more. No way out for us. Let's finish this before the air strike. Let's have a let's have a fight. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Uh -huh. Only your death. It's a great minute, by the way. Return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? Ooh, it will be the nice time bomb. limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Ah, that's good. That's a nice bomb. That's a good bomb. 
If she wasn't there then, if she wasn't alive, what would happen? Like if I gave in to the thing. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love. Oh my god. Come on. If you cross this line, you fall. Uh -huh. At this height, it will kill even you. I can't believe he chats for the first 30 seconds of this fight. Have at you, snake. Have at you. Get him. Get the fool. Get the fool. I need flashes as well. Come here, mate. Oh, come on. How do you do a Hadouken? Oh, screw. Get up. There we go. Go on, get you, get you. Ah, Duken! Sonic Boom! Stop bloody! He's having a right old laugh, isn't he? Can I just strangle him? Nope. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, bloody hell, I want to get the combos on him. Here we go. God, Snake! Stop bloody... Got no rations or anything, so this is a one shot deal. Nice shot. What are you talking about? You just you just bragging about yourself then. Nice. Run away. Nice, run away. Oh, bloody hell. What's with the rugby tackle, mate? What's wrong, snake? Oh my arse is chafing, that's what's wrong. Oof. Don't you dare. Bah. Oh, you bummer. He gets like, he hits me so hard. Get him. Do I cock up then? Should I like let him? It's going to blow. Oh, you bad! Don't let me watch all that crap again. About Gulf War and stuff. Have at you, snake. He does all the running. Oh, you freaking cock muncher. Oh, you friggin' bum face. Come here, how do you do an uppercut? Tiger uppercut. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Oh, he bloody rugby tackles you, look. It's going to blow. Oh, come on, you absolute fudge face. You fudge face, sir. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Come on, what's going on here? Oh, shroof. I ain't gonna do it again. Oh, he's got, he took so much life of me, he just chipped away at me. Oh, for crying out loud! Come on, come on. How do I just like 
do special move? How do I do special move? Come on, look my, my freaking energy takes off me. Oh, you bummer. I just completely like chucked myself off then. Come on, mate. There we go. You gonna do something? Oh, come on, you fridging fudger! Alright. Oh, my arse is hurting, that's nice what's wrong. Shot. What are you telling nice shot? I was you! You big bigging yourself up again. Come on! Oh, come on! I'm hating this. What's wrong, snake? Oh, if you don't get the free hit combo on him, he just slaps you. See what I mean? Get down, get down, you friggin' asshole, get down. Ah, oh, fuck! Like! If he if he prunes, just don't go anywhere near him. Because he's a no knobhead. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Get down. Alright, oh, I did that by accident. Okay, cool. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. Come on, up we get. Good stuff. Rachio. Nice. Oh, you friggin' that butt me, you bastard. It's going to blow. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Don't you dare do like a little kick flip. Shawn Michaels kickflip. Come on, mate, fall down. Oh, come on, he's flashing. I can't, why can't I flash? Sliver, he's got a sliv, he's on a sliv. He's flashing, look. Got his mother fudging flashing. Now I've got to get him to the end. So he's 
dead, look, he's dead. Oh, come on, mate, come on. Oh, you fudging ass face! Yes! Thank God for that, thank God for that. Oh, snake! What's happening next? Meryl. Come on, Meryl. Come on, wakey, wakey, Meryl. This is the point where, like, she's either dead or alive. Meryl? Ugh. Come on, girl, wakey, wakey. Snake? I didn't go for all that, that just to me? kind of, like... Snake. Oh, you're alive. Oh, thank God you're alive, girl. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can <laughs> it must have been terrible. No, it wasn't I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. Oh. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. Isn't that nice? But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. What's that, girl? During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I'm sure of. A single hope shame. that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake. I wanted to see you again. Oh, isn't that nice? Meryl. I wanted to see your blocky face too. That's why I came back and tried to finish this game. Uh, sorry, love. I've got to get this phone call. Snake, it's me. Hey, buddy. Argon. Good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You nice. saved her, man. Good job. I got High some fives all round. Too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? Me? Don't I need a little more time sacrifice yourself for this play, buddy mofo. Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use this your moment to be a hero, dude. Bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake. I'm a complete person now. I've Good for you, mate. Oh, everyone's everyone's Good. getting moments. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Thanks okay, for your help, go. dude. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> I believe in you. I believe in Thanks, you. Snake. Oh, isn't that cute? Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? He's. She. It said Oda. She said Otakon. Right now. But it's, is it Otakon? There's no O in there. The well, there is at the start, but I, I don't know. He's talking out of my eyes. Too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Wait, so he just jumped down from that bit and but we said earlier that if you fall down you can die. Oh that was a hell of a jump. Snake. Oh. It's all working out. Oh, oh dear. It started. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. Uh. That way. Too bad. <laughs> the 
Let's get out of here. Let's go. Nick, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up. Hurry up. Put your stuff together. Hurry. <coughs> Where'd you put that jacket from? Mm, looking good, Snake. Oh, cheers. Oh, Struth, that was close. Cool, we have made it out of here. Snake is all dressed and sexy. Uh, cool, we're making our great escape from this crazy place, but that is going to be in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Come back in the next episode as I try and get out of this motherfucking place. Cheers then, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.